Welcome to Touch Technology Review. My name is John and today I'm pleased to inform you that Apple have just updated the 27 inch iMac with some exciting new features that many of you I'm sure have been waiting for. Now we didn't get a design refresh. In fact, the 2020 27 inch iMac looks identical to the 2019 model from the outside. However, as is consistent with an interim release, Apple have certainly provided a huge range of hardware improvements on the inside that will be sure to satisfy those of you looking for a more powerful iMac to cut through the processor intensive tasks of editing video, making music, designing and animating. Now, before we go ahead and look at the specs in detail, it's important to note that the 21.5 inch model remains almost completely unchanged in spec, apart from the fact that they're now all listed with the base 256 gigabyte SSD drive. You can upgrade them up to one terabyte SSD at around $400 US extra. And despite rumors to the contrary, you can still opt for the one terabyte fusion drive instead of the 256 gigabyte drive at no extra cost. So it looks like Apple will continue offering the low cost fusion drive technology until next year at least, when we're most likely gonna see the first of the new silicon based iMacs. Which leads me to my next point about this release. Clearly, this is a stopgap measure by Apple to keep the iMac relevant in 2020 without having to do too much work and give away any industrial design cues, which I'm sure they're reserving for the new generation of silicon iMacs. For those of you who have been sitting on the fence waiting for a new iMac, this may just be enough to get you over the line. But I would have to say that if you have a recent generation of iMac, such as the 2019 or even 2018 model, that you feel is still handling your work requirements, then this is simply not going to be enough to get you excited about the release, especially when you know that an all new iMac is sure to be released by the first quarter of 2021, if not by the middle of the year, and alongside with the powerful new silicon architecture, they should incorporate significant design changes to make it feel like a brand new iMac rather than yet another iteration of the same thing that we've been seeing year after year in these recent iMacs. So with all that being said, I don't wanna underplay just how good this new 27 inch iMac is gonna be with all of the improvements that Apple have made under the hood. So let's take a look at the major upgrades to this year's model of 27 inch iMac. First of all, as anticipated, we now get access to the new Intel 10th generation processors on this brand new 27 inch model. At the entry level, there is the 3.1 gigahertz six core i5 processor, which can be turbo boosted to 4.5 gigahertz. Next is a 3.3 gigahertz i5 processor model that can be turbo boosted to 4.8 gigahertz and each support the Radeon Pro 5300 four gigabyte graphics cards. But if you're wanting to access the top of the range performance, then you really have to check out the new 3.8 gigahertz eight core i7 processor model, which can be turbo boosted to five gigahertz. And this comes standard with the Radeon Pro 5500 XT video card with eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. You can also upgrade it to the 3.8 gigahertz 10th generation i9 processor. And there are two video card upgrades, including the option to go with the Radeon Pro 5700 with eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and a whopping 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory in the Radeon Pro 5700 XT, which is gonna be of great value to those of you looking to handle the most graphic intensive tasks from video editing to animation and 3D. And even with the new cameras, such as the Canon EOS R5, which I recently reviewed on the channel, it was just released and it's now capable of shooting 8K raw video. We're getting access to such high specifications on the latest generation of cameras, that the task of editing video is getting much harder, requiring more and more powerful hardware. And this is where the iMac with the 16 gigabyte option is going to be really useful. In terms of RAM, you can now upgrade the iMac up to 128 gigabytes with DDR4 memory, but this is going to put a huge dent in your pocket. So for those of you looking to upgrade beyond the base eight gigabyte RAM supplied, the new iMac looks to have the same removable hatch on the back, allowing you to upgrade the RAM yourself with third-party RAM, which will be much cheaper than doing it when you're purchasing the Mac on the online store. The processor, RAM, and video cards 
were not the only upgrades. We now get access to a 1080p camera and a studio quality three microphone array for higher resolution and better sounding video conferencing and general purpose shooting of video and audio with the iMac. Although the resolution of the 5K display remains the same, there is support for Apple's True Tone technology, which automatically adjusts the white balance of the screen to match the lighting conditions of the room. This is the same technology they've had on the MacBook Pro recently for some time now and is useful for some. Personally, I don't like it as I'm dealing with color correction and design most of the day, so I don't wanna see the subtle screen changes at all. So it is an option that you can turn on and off in the preferences, but it's certainly nice to have it there for those of you wanting to access this feature. There's also an upgradable option to the Nano Edge Glass, which is the same technology Apple introduced on the new Pro Display XDR last year. And this is designed to cut down on glare. So if you're in a brightly lit room with lots of sunlight and reflections coming through the windows, this could be a great option for you. But having said that, it is an optional extra that comes in at around $500 extra US. Finally, the Apple T2 security chip comes to the 27 inch iMac in 2020 with a secure Enclave coprocessor that provides a foundation for secure boot and encrypted storage capabilities. The T2 chip also enables powerful features like the 1080p FaceTime HD, camera face detection, enhanced speaker base response, and Hey Siri, and makes transcoding HEVC video up to twice as fast as the previous generation. As far as the ports go, they remain the same as the previous generation. The 27 inch iMac includes two super fast Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports and four USB-A ports and a one gigabyte ethernet port, which is upgradable to 10 gigabit ethernet. There's a headphone jack and SD card slot, and you also get ultra fast Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. So as I said earlier, if you've been waiting for a 2020 iMac, then there are a lot of good reasons to justify your purchase in this new 27 inch product refresh. But let's be honest about this. It isn't the most exciting product update we've seen from Apple. Instead, just another iteration to keep the fan base satisfied and keep units selling while we're all waiting for a more exciting, complete redesign, which is clearly long overdue and we'll now have to wait until Apple are ready to bring out the guns blazing in 2021 with the silicon chip IMAX sure to be announced. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this new 2020 27 inch iMac. Was it enough to get you excited? Or will you wait until next year in the hope that we might see a completely new iMac design inside and out? Comments below. And as always, feel free to ask any questions and don't forget to subscribe so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.